our lesson for today will be looking at chemistry 1502 we'll be looking at the boiling points of alkyl halides it's under the properties of alkyl halides let us start the introduction of nucleophilic substitution reaction we have looked at alkyl halides we know what is an alkyl halide by now and we should also know the different types of alkyl halides in this lesson we are just going to introduce how do we actually determine the boiling point and in this lesson we are just going to be using the same alkyl group how do we know which one will have the higher boiling point of the same alkyl halide group or let me say the alkyl group the next lesson video which will be lesson 102 of the boiling point will be looking at different alkyl halides including the different alkyl groups so let's say for example we have chloromethane remember that in order for us to look at the boiling points we have to compare we compare this with fluoromethane both of these are alkyl halides and looking at the alkyl group what did I mean when I say the same alkyl group they are both methanes they consist of only one carbon and three hydrogen it's actually the methyl so you can see that the alkyl part or the alkyl group are the same so which one has the higher boiling point in this case we cannot really look at the parent chain because we have the same alkyl group but we can check the alkyl I mean the halide that is attached to an alkyl and what do we check we check the atomic mass of the halogen atom we have an increase in atomic mass is an increase in the boiling point so in this case we can see that fluorine the atomic mass is 19.00 while the atomic mass of chlorine it is 35.45 so in this case you can see that this alkyl halide will have higher boiling point compared to this one because of the van der Waals forces which exist between the carbon and chlorine now let us look at another example let's say we have chloromethane and bromomethane which one has higher a boiling point in this case our bromomethane will have higher boiling point because the atomic mass of bromine is greater than the atomic mass of chlorine now let us look at this alkyl halide let us put bromomethane and dibromomethane dibromomethane will be like this we'll have ch2 actually CH2 which one has higher boiling point in this case if we have the same alkyl group and the same halide an increase in boiling point will depend on the number of halides it is attached to that alkyl group so in this case since we have two halides attached to this the very same group which is the meth in this case this one will have higher boiling point compared to this one this one will have a higher boiling point compared to this one so let us look at this suppose we have CH3 Cl is the first alkyl halide the second one we have CH3 
PR CH three F number four we have CH three it's actually CH two BR two number five we have CH BR three we see set the following compounds in an increasing boiling point now the first one would definitely be the least one will definitely be number three this will actually be number five and then followed by one we are looking at the atomic masses then followed by two and then this dibromo it's actually it has higher boiling point compared to this so we have four and then lastly we have bromo four because it has three halides so i hope you do understand how to determine the boiling point of the alkyl halides having the same alkyl group but different halides. That's it for this lesson video. This is Rahula SJ. Thank you very much.